Hey, I'm Bal Ignatiev and this is Current Patch Conclusion Pogo tutorial, the strat where you don't have to enable vSync to perform it as found by Pantaloni Bean. Let's try to go through the whole room in a single segment. Yeah, there you go. This strat consists of two main parts. The part one is kiting the sport down, and the part two is doing this uh, dash jump pogo dash pogo uh, rotation. Kiting the spore is quite lenient. You can do it in many ways. This is how I am trying to do it, what my visual cues are. First, I'm trying to align myself on the left of this platform so that both legs of the knight are standing there and he's just kind of perfectly aligned with the left edge of this platform. And then I wait for the spore to uh, pass this top ledge of this platform. So that when the top part of the spore, uh, top part of the spore aligns with the ledge and then I drop down, kind of like this. And then I try to w try to align myself with this little circle on this background. Uh, I don't know what it's like mushroom on spore. And uh, yeah, then I wait for the spore to come down like this hole. You can notice that this vertical ledge has this little hole in it, and I use it as a visual cue for when to start my bottom my floor movement. I want the sport to just barely uh, meet this little hole. Yeah, that's my visual cues for the setup. Yeah, let's try to see it in motion one more time. Oops. Like this. Also, don't get discouraged if you don't meet my perfect quote unquote visual cues because uh, what you should really do is develop an intuition about how the spore moves so you can fix any situation as you approach it. For example, if you land a bit to the left, you can go down a bit to the right so the spore is still goes under the ledge. Or for example, if you go to the right, you can go a bit more to the left. So the spore kind of oh, well, does the same thing and goes under the ledge. Uh, and then you will kind of have to play around uh, from where to start your first dash. Let's also talk a little bit more about bottom part movement. Uh, I think this is the hardest part of the setup because it's very easy to mess up. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to delay my first pogo a little bit. So I do dash to the right and then I kind of do full jump, like full jump before I pogo this, the mushroom. And I'm doing this because I want to do pogo and dash immediately. So I don't really have to time my dash after the pogo, like, like this. That's basically what I'm doing. Like kind of this. That was a little bit uh, high than I would normally want to do. Yeah, like this. That was great. And how I know that it's great? Well, I'm using this platform as a visual cue. I want my dust uh, particles after the dash be kind of perfectly aligned with this platform like, kind of like uh, kind of like this like something along these lines i don't want my dust particles to be like uh, to be this high or lower that's how i double check myself that my bottom movement is correct and the most common mistakes you will likely to do while practicing the setup is you will first miss the pogo entirely. It happens when you dash way too much. Like I couldn't do it right now, but um, yeah, essentially it looks kind of like this. Like you miss the pogo. It means that you did your pogo too late, and you miss the spore. You miss the spore uh, hitbox essentially. Another one is when you pogo too early. And then you will bonk your head into the ledge like this. Like, yeah, you will bonk to your head onto the ledge and maybe get damaged as well. And uh, another mistake is uh, 
when you kind of kite this part to way to the left so it bonks to the ledge and changes its direction to the right and another kind of the most frustrating one is oh wait let me wait for the thing to explode the most frustrating one is when you pogo your spore too low so you just barely miss the set kind of like this yeah that's the most frustrating one and you need to get uh, you need to make sure your dash is correct uh, is on the correct height that's the most difficult part of the setup as a bonus point let's uh, discuss the strat uh, that many people will find much easier to do and it involves damage boosting to obtain additional height to lift yourself up uh, it's performed exactly the same way as the normal one but you wait uh, for the spore to come down a little bit lower Usually you would wait when it reaches this little hole and for damage boosting you will wait when it reaches like about this spot. I'm really bad at damage boost setup so let's just kind of try to wing it already. I don't know. Just normal setup but you're... Uh, yeah, I almost did the normal thing. Let's just kind of try to... Wait a bit longer at the bottom. Yeah, like this. Okay. Guys, as a closing words, don't try to blindly follow the cues I provided. Rather, just use them as a reference. Because uh, if you get the good intuition about how Spore behaves, you can adjust yourself as you go and uh, save even seemingly unsavable situations. Uh, and uh, yeah, don't get discouraged. This strat is really hard, but it's very satisfying when you get it. And yeah, that's kind of it. I hope this tutorial was helpful.